Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Jill has been through a lot. Her train just derailed by was just derailed by Nemesis, and she's once again on the run for her life. And Carlos may be on his way. We don't know that, and I have no idea. I have given up altogether trying to guess when and where Nemesis might pop up next. He doesn't follow any uh, video game pattern that I can recognize, so yeah. Hey there, whoa there! Just hold on a minute. Seeing that cop just reminds me of how Marvin was bitten again. He was bitten by Brad, that's crazy. Hey there. Hey little guy. Get over here. I am 100% certain that I've missed a ton of those things, but I don't really care. <laughs> They're collectibles. And I'm trying to survive, so collectibles are pretty far off in my mind. Whoa! Has exploding here. Check the map to see. Yes, everything is blue. Because if it, if there are errors that are red, that means I have missed something. Hey, I'm outside again. What the heck? Fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. Nope. Escape the creature. What? That's gonna be easier said than done. Give me that ammo. I don't think I have a, like a crouch button, you know, if I'm trying to hide from something, that's usually how I can do it, by crouching, keeping, my, keeping the uh, noise low. I can still try to move slower, I guess. Which is harder to do when you're using mouse and the keyboard because you can't really control how, uh, how light or heavy your touch is. Uh, at least not on my keyboard, maybe some other gaming keyboard you can do that, I, I'm not quite sure, but that's something that's easily done with controller. That's just some uh, reorientation I have to do by com doing this playthrough on PC. Because uh, Resident Evil 2 was played on PS4. And if you watch that playthrough, yeah, the, the moving was really smooth, but the shooting was really bad. Not that the game was bad, I was really bad. I, I've never been quite accustomed to shooting with uh, the control with controllers. And that's on me. There he is. Oh, he is... He's feeling the burn. Bitch can't. <laughs> Jail. Carlos, on. respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. <sighs> Nikolai's not dead. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Well, bitch can swim, as it turns out. Sorry, babe, out. I'll, I'll call you back. <laughs> this is crazy. Did I control that, that jump? I, you know what? I don't care. Nice moves. Get 
Did it turn into part shark? Come on! Uh. Oh, I'm using my rounds. I don't know. Uh, I think I'll switch back to explosive. But no, shit! Wait, I'm still using my rounds. What the fuck? Hey there. Was that still a mine round? Why can't I switch back to explosives? There we go. Not gonna be enough, but I'm still gonna just unload un everything on him right on his stupid, ugly face. You hear that? That's gonna do some damage. Okay, second phase now. Oh, damn, I missed. Shotguns up. Bullshit. No, 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 no. Stop eating me. Stop it. Stop. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm impressed. Um, okay. I need things. Of things. Are you serious right now? Okay. Item management time, Mr. Nemesis. Could you just give me a minute? I'm gonna have an open slot pretty soon. Which is good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sorry, I don't have time to combine them immediately. Is he freaking flying? Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Oh boy! It's better if I don't look back at him, you know. Except when I shoot at him. I better be uh, on the other side of him, I think. Oh, I think I should uh, trick him to settle at one place. Now I regret using up all the mine, all the mine rounds for the grenade launcher. I'm completely out. Oh, I'm still fine. No, I'm not fine. Not after this. This is instant to hell. Oh, I still have uh, some flame rounds, don't I? See, I... Normal video game wisdom would never tell me that we are in for another nemesis fight. I need to stop it in its tracks. That would be a. This would be a really good time to use the mine. Use the mine ammo, which I have used up. Shit.
shit. Hope he's at least in pain. Come on, dude. You gotta go somewhere. Go douse off the, those flames. Oh, stuff I can take. My fields. Thank God. The game is giving me another chance. I see. Okay, I'm just gonna put that one here. What the shit? Oh, sh crap. Did that work? Oh, that thing just blew up by itself. Hey. It doesn't even look like Nemesis anymore. What the heck? Escaping is caused by the hair of it. What the hell? Dude. Yes, there we go. I don't remember having this, but this many runs, but hey. Carlos, you still there? Come on, you gotta crap out on me now? God damn it. Man, my right. Oh shit. Do I, do I have to do this now? Can I just maybe go around town and pick up everything I left off? Oh yeah! Oh, I'm cut off. I still have shotgun shells I could get. Oh shit. Interesting. You've done me a big favor. Wow, I hate him so much. Fucking Nikolai. Roughly half a day later. Wow, are we still alive half a day later? Jill! Hey, answer me. Watch the arm. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. I'm guessing we're gonna be playing as Carlos for a while now. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Not another Spencer, you know, not a mansion, just a building. Find it, Jill. No 
I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Right. You're gonna be okay. I promise. Um. What am I supposed to? Oh, that's the for the that's for the end of this mission, to administer with the cure. Maybe we can grab a grenade launcher. Hey, Joe, do you think you need that right now? So, like, Nemesis at this point is really hammered down. Otherwise, he would come for Joe at this moment, or during the uh, ha half the day that just passed. Because th these were the perfect moments to kill her off. Nothing I need to dispose of, I think. I don't think I need all these health. Um, I will also store the grenade just to save some space. So, so that seems okay. Hang in there, Jill. I'm coming back for you. So this is almost like the sh uh, sh Sherry Birkin situation. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Stay frosty. New formula. This is an uh, ad from Umbrella. So I wonder if uh, Carlos is starting to wonder if he's actually fighting the good cause. I mean, he himself is fighting the good cause, but he kind of uh, he was reluctant to believe that Umbrella is uh, responsible for everything. But the game certainly is expecting me to use up a lot of the assault armor. Uh, the the, the ammo for it. When you see this, um, when I see this, what? So this is the layout, uh, east wing floor plan. Two floors. Okay. This one is locked. Can we just shoot this thing, please? For once, I wish I could do this. Nope. Just wasted the bullet. Nothing is outside. But the windows are boarded up, so that's pretty professional. Okay. Red light setting the vibes here. I'm almost out of handgun ammo. Yes, you do. Gratefully, the the game is not like giving me a timer. Red herb. Do I got some green herb? No, I got two red herbs. Ah! Yeah. Oh! So there's a another door. That's not a that's not a green herb. That's just a plant. Good old regular plant. Spencer Memorial pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. 
In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of this country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Well, you change the face of the world, all right. Oh no, Jill, could I borrow your lockpick? No, I, I guess not. That that's a part of her. Which one of you is breathing heavily? Stop it. <laughs> oh, the goddamn music. Hmm. I don't know if, uh, if Carlos would still need to fight Nemesis during all this. Obviously, we, we are we're back to looking for a lockpick. Otherwise, we can do very little here. Vaccine research. Oh, that's promising. So we gotta get get to the courtyard at some point. Well, I got my business okay. Tape player. Um, can I play this? You have to put a tape in it for it to work, so it doesn't have tape in it. Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop the delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to an isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these, pa pa uh, when these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told a special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure about it. Miranda says some guy's wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Oh, nurses, please don't leave these kind of things lying around for everybody to read. Finally, some greens. Now let's smoke those herbs. I do wonder, I mean, if people like Chris, Jill, Leon, Claire, I mean, these Resident Evil OG characters, after so many years of uh, fighting zombies, are they going to develop some kind of addiction to the green red herbs? Interesting to think about. Maybe they wanna. What if they want some. Good old herbs to inhale, even when they're completely safe. Yeah, that'd be kind of messed up. Oh God! When did that guy get up? I completely did not see that coming. What the shit is happening? She has a pretty scary face. Okay, we can make another one of these. We got a pretty good uh, amount of uh, just health items, if nothing else.
it's almost like we are going to fight Nemesis. Dude, I can't let you in here. I would want to. Trust me. So freaking creepy. What are you doing here? Who put you up to this? It's locked. That's kind of cute. Really? Oh, it's still the guy. What the hell? That is so not cool. Okay, we got somebody up there ripping heads off, off of people. That's very reassuring. I'm heading up right there right now. So, what could possibly go wrong? Um, this part is blocked, so I'm going this way. I don't think so, mister. Nope, it doesn't work. I gotta try it. I mean, if there is a way to conserve ammo, I should try it. Where the hell am I? Just ammo. Staff only. Well, I am, uh, caught. I'm basically staff for tonight. Because nobody else is here. And I'm the one who's trying to take care of a patient, so... There you go. Nurse's Journal, September 27th. Did I miss one? Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Phagia? I don't know. Possibly infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating, while treating one of the patients with disinfected wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wound is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and are growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. At least the safe room is still reliable. Well, I think we can just uh, load the handgun ammo. We don't have a tape yet, so I'm storing the tape recorder for now just for now right let's get back out there oh 
hospital map. Oh, that's good. So this is the staff room. The music is so creepy. I think somebody died here. Call it an educated guess. Music's got good timing. I think it's fairly obvious that we are facing some kind of boss situation. Something is tearing through these people. There's a journal of September 29th. Oh, it's a day later. Is that today or something? We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've, we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard the helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we were left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. I didn't even finish. So, uh... One of these nurses wrote these journals, and I have a feeling I'm gonna have to try to avenge him or her. But the only thing I can find in this room is this, but I can't open it. And this door is locked. What is this? Uh, memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you, administration, September 20th. Which means that behind this uh, locked away in this cabinet is an employee ID card, which I will need. Still got a lot of places to explore. Let's see here. I hear this is the nurse station, I hear some noise behind this. Come on already! If you're gonna burst in, just do it already. Okay, I'll wait. And we have a safe. Don't know the password to it. Note about the tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and uh, walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. 
Um, okay, the tape might be in the treatment room. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole that will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. A friend. Now that sounds like a friend. Finally! Okay. Is he, are you turning away from me? Once again, I need the ID card. Since you were kind enough to open this door for me. They kind of like to gain up on you. I gotta check. I'm sorry for the disrespect for the deceased. Also ammo. And that's it for the sick room. And there's a door blocked here. What? Oh, what am I supposed to do here? I'd like to check out the linen room first. So maybe I can get into the treatment room and uh, let's just solve something. <sighs> and it's blocked. So let me just check that I actually can. I don't think I can actually get in there through the nurse's room. Right, there's. It requires a card. I'm just gonna. Try it again, uh, just so I can get that on the map. Did I get it on the map? I think I've already tried to do this. Ah, that's annoying. I want the map to be more uh, to be accurate at all times, and that's going to be a little misleading. Okay, where else can I go? Maybe I can try the operating room on the first floor. Cause I feel I don't know what's going to happen if I go to the courtyard. The familiar backtracking. Such a staple for Resident Evil. You end up being familiar with all of these places because of it. And no. 
the operating room also requires a CD card. And I really hope, I really wish they, they, they would reflect this. I'm gonna try to shoot this guy. Nope. Can't do that. What's this? It's things I missed, even after all this. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I still go back? I don't know if I thoroughly explored that place. Damn it. Did I miss anything? Oh, I don't know. You can join your brothers here. It's a key. I wonder if anything's gonna happen when I touch it. Ah, oh, there's a thing over there. I wanna go back, damn it. Wait a second. Oh, this is kinda new, so maybe things won't happen when I touch the key. Got a key now. What kind of key is it? It's a locker room key. Uh, it's the key to the Spencer Memorial Hospital employee locker room. Which one is the employee locker room? Oh, it's the one with the employee card. At least I hope so. That card is gonna take me to places. Ooh. Oh, look what I almost missed. Oh, here we go. <sighs> no corpse is gonna jump out and scare me to death. Go there. Okay, you're pretty disappointing. Mm, this is more stylish, but equally useless. That's a little bit better. Ah! Oh, was just wondering about this shit. Okay, hospital ID card. Now that's more like it. Now I will be able to go to places locked with this ID card. Which if I remember correctly is plenty of places. Uh, the game might spawn new enemies for me, so... Of course. Hunters? This reminds me of hunters. <laughs> Oh, he's still not dead. He Jesus drains Christ. a lot of ammo. Okay. Of course, new enemies, new situation. They're never gonna allow me to just uh, explore the place in peace. Okay. Um back to work.
Well, what if one of those monsters go attack Jill at this moment? I mean, exactly what protection does he, does she have right now? Ugh. Let's not think about it. Hang on a minute. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ex stay on a second floor for now. I wonder if running will attract them, like it used to be with Mr. X. I don't think so, at least I hope not. I still don't know the combination to the safe. Uh, let me mark down the name of this place. This, this is the nurse's station, so if we see any documents with the nurse's station on it, we'll know what it's for. By the way, we can discard the key now. We're just littering around. Okay, multiple targets. I'm guessing they can open doors. Are they hunters though? They look like hunters, but I think slightly different. I think they're more reptilian. Maybe they're just a further evolution of the hunter line, just like those sharks things. Oh shit. Okay, welcome to the linen room. Got, got in the laundries. Uh, it's a good thing that this hospital is laden with uh, assault rifle ammo. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me what kind of hospital this is. Just be glad that it is so. Uh, this opens the door to the corridor. And now we are going to the treatment room to fight ah, two of these motherfuckers. There you are. Oh! Holy shit! He killed me! I wasn't aware of my health I guess. This is Hunter Beta. It's possible to break through its armor to shell to reveal its vulnerable head. Keep out of touch and... Uh, I'm back here. Yeah I'm at caution and I, I do think I'm at low caution so I gotta take care of myself a little better. Flash grenade at the ready. What the hell? It's a one hit kill? Seriously? Because I was at full health. I need to do more damage before they corner me in. And they are going to corner me in. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to drop another one. Maybe I can just show them I'm here, draw them over here.
Hey. You guys? Nope. No good. They don't, they're not as smart as I thought they would be. Oh boy. Come on already, you, you see me through this door. Oh my god, this is just cheating by this- that they're playing dumb. Either they're really dumb or they're really smart. I, I really don't know which one is it. Pretty ri- I'm just gonna go to full health, see if that still works any better. Well, I took one hit at least. And I think I got one of them. SHIT! That was bad. That was so freaking bad. It's like they can break doors, break, break through, I mean they can open doors, but they don't usually choose to. Like as soon as they uh, break off visual contact with you, they forget that I can do that. So that's something I can use. Well, I survived this this time. Finally. And we have the uh Audio cassette tape. And that's it for the treatment room. for the next step um, if I remember this is safe in the nurse's room these are simple locks we're gonna need to find doors we can open there's one in the em emergency entrance So basically we What the heck? Where'd you come from? 
Let me through, let me through, let me through. Oh boy. Basically I got I think I, I think they have something like a, a fatality move that I gotta dodge. Um Okay. He didn't follow me down. more of you than I remember. Hey. What do we always talk about? Actually, we never talked about anything. It's just trying to distract you. I'm gonna open this door first to provide myself with an out if necessary. Yes, I knew some of them would get up again. I'm running a little low on ammo. I mean, 89 is nothing to face at, but. Oh shit. They get up really fast. <sighs> Handgun ammo freshly picked up just for you. That was exhausting. Okay, let's see the operating room. Hopefully it can give me some stuff. Running a little low. Well, no hunter, that's a positive. So ammo is a big positive. Someone was being operated here. Lots of ammo is lots of positive. And thank you for that. And that's it. I guess operation room at the end of the day is just gift room where the game shows you leniency didn't expect that this operations room in Resident Evil usually really horrible places Dr. Bard are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? Oh boy. What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Oh, we need a tape recorder. That's clever. Of me for thinking of that. If I do say so myself. It would still be kind of 
dumb if we, all we need is a recording of a person's voice, regardless what, of what they're saying. Because if you are going to use voice matching for security reasons, you better have... It better be something that they have to say. Like some specific lines, words, enunciations that can identify the person. I'm glad the hunters didn't come to pick you up. Right, uh, I'm going to... So we no longer need the ID card. Let's take out the tape recorder and uh, listen to the tape. It's not giving me a play option. So I'm guessing whatever's inside is not relevant to the story of the... Uh, well, at least not critical to our uh, story. It's just... Uh, it's just something we can use to open the door. And now we have maybe... Maybe we don't need that many flash, flash grenades. And uh, based on oh, everything that's happened, maybe we need some more herbs to take with us. That would be a good idea. You know, sh shall we take herbs or shall we take first aid spray? Because usually there's not a huge amount of difference between these two, but the mixed herb uh, can still potentially be mixed with uh, blue herbs. Now, we, we haven't really seen much blue herbs yet because there's not a lot of poisoning in the possibilities so far but that could always change in the flash of an eye okay we still don't have the lock pick which is kind of weird but i'm thinking either we get the lock pick like really late in the game or are we just gonna have to uh, use jill to re-explore all these locations jill's probably gonna get a cure wake up something's had happened to carlos and uh, she gotta do all of this again uh we still don't have that how do we get to that it wouldn't be surprised it's not like it's, it could be uh, too surprising that Carlos ends up being pretty good at unlocking things too, but it's still kind of... I, I prefer it to be kind of a trademark jail thing. Let's do this. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... I'm sorry. What a stuck up. You didn't read the documents, did you? I'm gonna hang back. Get ready to terminate the doctor at a moment's notice. Okay, this path is blocked. We have to get to we have to get across him. What is going on? Well the monsters will not have uh, voice recognition, so that that'll be fine. He's probably Bard. dead. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit, and the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? I'm sorry, Dr. Bard. I just don't trust any. Oh, I can't. I can't even. Banquet invitation? Really? Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, 
asshole, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m., the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Is that a Star Wars reference, by any chance? I mean, that is a common phrase, but I can't look at it without thinking of uh, Darth Vader saying that Han Solo. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing a bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring, bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Iris know. What does that mean? Let Iris know? Like, for him to make it into a human sample? giving me a, some more ammo. I'm grateful but also deeply concerned. Email from Nathaniel Bard. To Greg Tester, subject reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You are not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side, no, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Leon, oh, sorry. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. We should sound pretty chasty after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. Nate. Things didn't pan out for you. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches in the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I got you only one along. And she trusted me anyway. What is going on here? With the punching of the monitor open the door? Or did Tyrell did something? Oh doctor, you are trying to do the same do the right thing uh, with your last breath, so honor to that. Over there is an empty room. I mean it's not gonna be an empty room, it's just it a here? room with no name. It better be here. Oh yes, vaccine sample. We got that. All right, Joe. Hang tight. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Duly noted. Oh, I'm trapped again. Where'd I go? Oh, 
Oh, I do not like this. Go get you. was relatively successful um, I'm gonna ingest this just to be sure because I don't know how many are still in my way and they can kill me in one hit if I'm at caution history has proved that what are you doing up Back, back! Uh, this door is still not gonna open. I go outside? Nope. Okay, back to jail. You're gonna be okay, Joe. I wonder if this is like the last. I don't think by the, by the way the doctor was talking about it. He did say that he only has one sample of the vaccine, but he also said the rest is in the, the basement. I don't know. It's a little contradictory, but I'm I'm I don't know if this is the last one in the world. And if it is, I don't know if even for Jill, this is a tough call. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. You better grab some gear. Sounds like a lot of them out there. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, I have two of these. I'm gonna grab some... Uh, grenades and everything. No longer need the tape. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Well, um, the mission now is to defend Jill. Are you with me, man? Come on. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? 
I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Oh, it's that kind of sequence. Detonator. Okay. Now the fun ship begins. Tell me you did not just say this is where the fun begins. My girlfriend, well, potential girlfriend, she's still not making it clear. What do I do with the detonator? You know what? Too many ammo is. Whoa! It's not the worst problem to have in the world. What the heck is going on? Okay, so apparently the system cannot handle too many corpses at this on the floor at the same time. So zombies explode now. Oh come on. Find the break. It must be somewhere. Oh shit. That surprised me. Breaker, the breaker. Uh, maybe in this room. What the heck? It's raining zombies in here. Ah, oh, I gotta start using some of this crap I'm carrying. Well, could have used that. Oh no, oh no. Get, get that out of my head. Dude, what the hell? We're not. I don't know you that well. Whoa. You could do that to a zombie? much stuff happening.
I can't even get into the fucking. I can't even stand up. I was trying to see my item and I can't even do that. That was crazy here. Okay, I'm gonna just. Oh! I forgot about you. Okay, enough is enough. Everybody, we need time. Well, I neither am I. There. Now I just gotta clean up. I instantly forgot what I was supposed to do. Hold out until a explosion. You you might want. Oh, I gotta hold up for. You know what? I can do this. What is that woman was has all those red on her? I wonder if those are just the cuts or is that some new type of zombie I have to watch out for? Well, we just bombed the hospital. Achievement, I need a hero. So cheeky. Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bozy motherfucker. Welcome back, Jill. Where's Tyrell? Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Oh, it's a dream. I was trying to shoot him. I was trying to push the shoot button. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. Leave the sick room. Yeah, well. See? Uh, we do gotta... I explore the hospital a little bit more as Jill Valentine. So it's a it's a good thing the vaccine worked on her at all. I mean, uh, realistically, Carlos has no idea if she was infected with the T virus. Uh, neither do we actually. We saw Nemesis infect her, and the T virus is what usually makes people zombies. And I, I, it doesn't look like Jill was infected with uh, a simple T virus strain. I mean, at least not at the same type. 
Because she didn't turn into a zombie after half a day. Then it's probably something else. So I got a new type of weapon. What? What, what is this? G18 handgun, 33 shot, 9mm handgun with 3 run burst. The feature is quick rate of fire allows it to do a lot of damage in a short time. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay, so uh, as Jill Valentine, we are going to get out of the hospital and maybe try to escape from the city, which is damned at this point this was a frantic episode I I really like the pace of this game uh, it's a lot it's a lot faster paced than the previous Resident Evil I mean by previous I mean Resident 1 and 2 but I think it uh, as as a companion piece to all of those they, they form a really wonderful Raccoon City trilogy as the situation gets escalating one step at a time. I mean, we got Resident Evil 1, which is decidedly slow paced. Uh, Resident 2 what I, I, what is what I think is the most even paced, and this one is more like frantic action. It's a. It's all hell breaks loose. And you want it back to be slow paced at some point, but the, the situation doesn't allow that because you got uh, a, bomb, a missile that's on its way, you got Nemesis chasing your tail all over the place and all these other kinds of monsters I, I I'm loving this and I I can't wait to play more of this so thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next episode take care